Well, what would you think? Uh, I mean, I thought it was a great effort. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's what, you, what you hope for in the road, that you come out and you kind of from start to finish. You know, your, your team's solid and they execute the plan. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I thought, you know, we did a really good job of, of, of kind of dictating what they were doing on the offensive end and then our end of the floor, getting into our movement. Did you have any worries coming in, you know, big win against Stanford, big game on Tuesday, that this is that kind of sandwich deal in the middle? I mean, I, I think you always have worries, yeah. right? But as Tom Petty said, most things I worry about never happen anyhow. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, um, no, I mean, I came in, I thought we had a good plan, and, and, I, and I, it's a cow's a team that we respect, and obviously on the road, you are got a little heightened sense of awareness, and, uh, you know, and, and, and we knew it was an important game for us. I mean, each one of these games, you know, when you're playing a 20-game conference season, you know, win four or five means as much as win 12, 13, and one. So, you know, we, we take them serious. Christian had a big game tonight, but you also got big minutes from Omar. Yeah. When your two big men are doing that, what's the ripple effect for the rest of the offense and how much, how dominant do you guys become? Well, I mean, doing... it, you know, not a lot of people are playing big anymore. And, and so, you know, I'm going to give credit to, to Umar for really making a lot of progress over the last couple months. I mean, he's really becoming an impactful player. And I'm going to give credit to CeeLo. I mean, he's gotten so much better, you know, this year. And then, then defensively, so good, you can, you're can you comfortable putting him out on the perimeter. And, and you don't lose much. Sometimes you gain. So just having that versatility is great. Now, we haven't had to do it much because, you know, traditionally, you know, Azulis is a really good player. And, he, and he's healthy, so you can ride that lineup, which has been pretty good. Um, so, you know, then now we're playing, you know, one big four guards and then you can play with two bigs, you know, your twin tower lineup. You can play small with your five guards. So, so I like the versatility. What, how much would, do you see a noticeable difference when you and he are able, on the rest of the offense, when you and he are able to do what you did today? I mean, yeah, definitely. It happens. You know, it happens, you know, just giving a little bit of help to our guards sometimes when, you know, making shots. I mean, they weren't making shots today, but even inside, we had a little bit of, of advantage. So I think they, do, they did a good, good job passing us the ball, and we just had to deliver. I think we, we did, uh, did a pretty good job delivering. This could have been a trap game for you, considering what you guys got coming up with UCLA, USC, Arizona State, and UCLA again. Why was it important, and how were you able to just kind of keep that focus on this one? I mean, we, we take game by game per game, you know. Every every game is a different game for us. Uh, we we want to come out every game just aggressive, you know. We want to win every game. So every game we come out aggressive and we have a game plan. We just got to execute the game plan and, you know, just at the end of the day, we just want to win. So, yeah. Is that a sign of maturity for a team, though, that you're able to? Again, you've been blowing teams out since you guys lost to Tennessee, and yet you come in here with that same focus. Like yeah, you, definitely. You, That's a sign of maturity. We just we just have a winning mindset, you know. Every, come on, we come to every game, we just have a mindset that we want to win. Uh, everybody is winning to do whatever it takes to win, and that's a good thing about this team. The world is selfish. Chris, just one more thing for you personally. Like, what's the difference? You had you had some games, you know, fouls. Maybe they could have gone either way, and then some turnovers here and there. But tonight, everything was on. Or today, what's, what's I the mean, difference for you? Coming out to this game for me was just being smart. You know, I know we didn't, we, we weren't gonna have Zul, so I just had to be smart with mm -hmm. foul because you know, like the last game against Denver, I had like two fouls the first two minutes of the game. So I just had to be smarter today, and I think I did a pretty good job. And when I when I uh, stay out of foul trouble, I just my rhythm just came, and yeah, I think I did a pretty, pretty good job defensively, offensively. When you have a game like that at, at Stanford, do you watch? The the tape much uh, go over it and say hey I did that wrong or do you just put it behind you and oh no you always watch the tape you always watch the tape you know you always go to learn from your mistakes and you know watch the tape like my first one, offensive foul was over the back so you know some 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 offensive some over the back guy like, you don't you don't have to go for a rebound because there's no no, no way of you're gonna get a rebound so I just gotta be smarter so yeah. those little details I was wondering for both of you guys to just how do you feel it seems like it looks like you're ready for UCLA. How did you feel about you know everything kind of heading into that big game on Tuesday? Uh, yeah, we're ready. We're gonna be ready for sure. Um, we're gonna do the same thing we done um, every game: preparation, film, scout. Um, you know, try to get get uh, you know hopefully Zoo healthy. But if not, you know we're all gonna be ready to play anyway. So um, yeah, we're 100% we'll be ready. I mean, in a lot of ways, these two games coming up with UCLA could determine. Who, who wins the conference? How much are you guys? How much have you been anticipating this matchup to kind? Of, I don't want to say to prove yourselves, but to just kind of say, hey, we're the big dog in the conference. Yeah, um, I mean, we gotta go play our game. I feel like just play our game. Um, if you look at too deep into this, into these games, 
Um, that's where you, you go out and try to do things that you're not supposed to do and, and you kind of feel that tension. So just go out and play your game and, and do what we've done since day one. Um, and that's what we'll do. We're not going to you know, change up anything or ask a guy to do more. We're, um, we're going to all put it together and, and win together.